guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. In the last episode, we finished off yet another one of the bundles in the community center, and we actually received a keg as a reward. So we're waiting for our coffee beans to grow just a little bit more so we can hopefully make some fresh coffee for um, Harvey and Kent and all of the people around town who really seem to enjoy that sort of gift. But today, I am wearing my sailor's hat because I thought it would be a good day to go out and fish since it is actually raining. So we were waiting for a rainy spring day to catch a couple of those uh, special fish that the Junimos are looking for. So I think after we finish a couple of the chores around um, the farm, the few that we actually need to because a lot of these uh, things are taken care of now that it's raining, then we'll zip down to, um, I think the town first. We'll go to the river to see if we can catch a catfish in the middle of town. But we have a little letter from Emily and it looks like she sent us some cloth. Hi, how are you doing? I hope you enjoyed the gift I've sent you. Well, goodbye from Emily. Oh my gosh, that's really cool. Do we have any cloth in here already? We actually do. She must have sent that to us before. Like, I feel like we actually needed that for the um, community center too. Is that the case? If we go in here somewhere, we may have actually already completed on um, whatever room needed that. Yeah, that must be what I'm thinking of because um, I can't imagine that we would need it in the pantry or anything like that and certainly not in the fish tank. So we probably already completed whatever room needed um, that sort of cloth. Off. But we can just save it in here because we might be able to make something pretty good out of it later. Who knows? And I'm sure um, Emily would also appreciate it if we could make our own cloth and give that to her because she does like to make um, all sorts of different clothes and whatnot. We do know that little bit about her. But let's give Daisy her water too. We can't forget about her. And then um, we'll close up our coops and our barns for the day too because it is very, very wet. And I'm sure the animals will appreciate once again being warm inside their homes. We'll see if we can milk our cows too for um, the cheese, of course, because that's seems to give us quite a bit of extra gold. We are slowly but surely regaining the gold after I'm giving so much to Clint for him to upgrade the pickaxe. Um, Flora doesn't have any milk today, but hopefully this one will. Hopefully it seems like it. So we have two jugs of milk to um, churn into cheese. And then we'll put some uh, extra hay right here too because the cows are going to need that today. They aren't going to be going out to munch on any of this grass outside, unfortunately. Oh my gosh, and our oak resin is ready today. Yes, that is perfect. We already have a keg, but I mean, we might as well make another one. We know we're going to need it. I know that the kegs can be pretty profitable, so I am quite excited to get started on that too. But let's pick up all of our eggs. And of course, we'll pat our little chickens on the head as well if I can um, make a little bit of extra room in my pockets, I suppose. That's another thing that we are definitely going to have to look into as we gather up more gold, um, especially as the strawberries are done producing all of their fruits and we're able to finally sell those off too. I feel like I'm probably going to save um, some of the strawberries though. That would probably be a good idea because it just seems like it would be a really good gift. Um, but let's see, how do we actually make the keg? We need an iron bar, a copper bar, and just some plain old wood. So I am almost positive that I have all of that stuff on me. There we go. We have our iron bar, we have our copper bar, we have our wood, and of course, we also have our oak resin. So let's go ahead and just make another one of these kegs, and then we'll place it right down here along with um, our other one that we received from the Junimos. So now we have two kegs to go along with um, our two preserve jars and our two mayonnaise machines. I feel like we should probably make a couple more of these, though, because we we do have four chickens, so we always have um, those extra eggs left over. And it's just a very, very good thing to change all of this produce over because it gives us that little bit of extra gold. Um, of course, we need to change this into cheese too. And I do want to save some of the cheese in our fridge from the pepper poppers that we will be making in the summertime, so we'll have to keep that in mind as well. I did manage to find a Nautilus fossil while I was fishing in, um, I believe, the Secret Woods the other day. I found this, and we can apparently donate that to Gunther too, so that might actually be a good thing for us to take today, since we are going that way anyway. I think the first stop is going to be um, the town, because we can catch a catfish in the river in either the town or the forest. So I'll leave this in um, my inventory right here, and then hopefully we'll be able to give that to Gunther if we have a little bit of extra time, because we're also going to have to hightail it down to the beach today to see if we can maybe fish up an eel. Those actually come out a little bit later though. I believe it's after 2 p.m. that the eels can possibly start showing up. So we're going to um, go down there just a little bit later. We have plenty of time to um, possibly catch a little catfish. But this is probably going to be one of our last chances because it's already the 17th of spring. Believe it or not, it's already the 17th. And for that matter, it's actually going to be Pam's birthday tomorrow. So yet another thing that we're going to have to think about, like what sort of gift are we going to give to Pam? 
We're actually fishing like right outside her house too. I wonder if she's watching that. Now I'm pretty sure I have bait on here, right? Yeah, I definitely do, but um, the fish are not biting at the moment. There we go, there's a fish. Okay, I just had to tease it a little bit, tease it for its laziness, and now we can hopefully get a fish. Maybe this will be a catfish right off the bat? Uh, no, it's actually a shad. Now, I'm not sure if we um, need that for the Junimos or not. I don't think we actually do. We may have um, already given it to them, and I just threw it like across the entire lake. Wow, across the entire river, rather. That was quite a throw, Jess, but it was a little bit too much. So, um, let's see, maybe this one will be a catfish. It's already 11.30, though. Like, time flies so fast when you're fishing in Stardew Valley. It flies fast anyway, but particularly when you're fishing. So another shad. We'll go ahead and give this a couple more tries, and um, if we can't manage to get a catfish in this river over here, then we can just go ahead and um, go toward the forest, I guess. I guess it would be the um, cinder sap forest where we would have to go, and hopefully for that matter, this isn't going to be um, too hard for me to catch too. It looks like Sebastian and Pam, of course, have come out to um, also watch us as we're trying to fish up some catfish in the river, but only the shad. We can only seem to find the shad today. So yeah, let's go down to um, the forest, I guess. It is getting very close to the time where we need to go to um, the beach, but the good thing about the eel is that it will still be around all the way until 2 a.m. So if we absolutely had to stay out that late, then I suppose we could. Though Jess is not going to be a very happy camper in the morning when she wakes up uh, passed out on the beach. But let's see if we have any more luck down here. Um, I guess this is a pretty good spot. We've never really gone fishing down here before, have we? So I'm not sure. I mean, oh my gosh, green algae, that is not a good sign. I'm not sure what we could possibly find down here, but if it's only going to be green algae, then that's not a very good thing either. Supposedly the catfish were available um, any time of the day. Let's see, this one is a little bit faster. Okay, this one definitely feels different. It definitely feels different from the shad, so let's see. What's it gonna be? Oh my gosh, a catfish! Yes, it was actually a catfish! Okay, that is literally perfect because it's almost 2 p.m., so now we can hightail it straight down to the beach. Little Fisher Jess is going straight to the beach to try to find um, the eel. Maybe we can actually give the Junimos both of those fish today. That would be pretty excellent. Uh, most of the other fish that we need to catch are actually going to have to wait until the summertime. A lot of them are beach fish in the summertime, so we'll just have to wait until that season rolls around. But like I said, it's not going to be too much longer. Now, hopefully there's not a specific location where I actually have to catch the eels. I do remember you guys telling me at one point that you need to fish over on this side of the appear. We'll see if maybe we get some better fish over here. Like, that is literally in the rock chest. <laughs> For some reason, I am always inclined to um, do a max throw, even when I don't need to. Like, maybe this is not a good idea, but we still have a fish. Okay, we have a fish who has um, swam straight into the rock, I guess. This one is very, very slow, but you can understand why. It's probably quite dazed. Okay, that was only a sardine, so let's move a little bit further away from that rock. And um, there we go. That was a little bit faster. Uh, now, this one is pretty slow, too. It's kind of just, like, hovering right at the bottom. Are you okay, fish? <laughs> I'm not sure about this guy. I'm a herring. Okay. Unfortunately, um, the quest that Willie asked for for the four herrings has already passed, so we're not going to be able to um, give that to him, even if we do catch four herrings today. But at least we know that this is where we can actually catch the herring, just in case we need to do it again. Let's scoot down this way, though. We'll scoot down a little bit this way. Oh my goodness, and Sebastian is actually out here in the rain. Hi, Sebastian. The ocean is best enjoyed alone, don't you think? Okay, I can take a hint. I'll go back up here a little bit. Like, I wanted to see if maybe the um, eels would be down there, but he definitely doesn't want the company right now, so we'll just continue our own fishing. I didn't even know he was down there. I mean, I guess he was um, sneaking a peek at us when we were fishing by the river, so maybe he got curious and he wanted to see the fish for himself down here. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get that chest, but we did get a sardine, so we can sell that too. Um, let's go over there this way though. I mean, we could try fishing up here, like off of the up here. Let's give that a try. We'll go down here and see if um, maybe there's any eels in this water. Like I said though, we have plenty of time to catch the eels because um, we can wait all the way until like just would literally pass out from exhaustion. So hopefully we'll be able to catch one before the day is over. And um, we might, if that is the case, have to give our fish to the Junimos on the next day. But at the very least we will have them and we won't have to worry that we'll miss our chance when um, the season passes. That was just another sardine though. That is not a good sign. Unfortunately, we never upgraded our rod either, so we still can't use that special tackle. But um, that is another thing that we probably want to look into. I mean, we almost have 7,000 gold already, and I know that a lot of this fish is going to um, help us get that extra gold back. 
So we might be in a situation where we will be able to actually upgrade our rod again pretty soon. I think Willie is probably closed by now. Oh yes, there he goes. So unfortunately we won't be able to see um, exactly how much that costs. Well, let's try over here this time. We'll see if maybe this is the place to catch eels. Like obviously we've never caught an eel before. So I don't know if we're just fishing in the wrong location or if it's just really, really hard to catch an eel. I mean, they are probably pretty slippery creatures, little eels. So I can imagine it would be um a little bit hard to find them. But we'll see if maybe this is the one. It doesn't seem like it though. Yeah, like that really felt like um one of the fish that we already caught. So I'm not surprised that it was just another herring. Let's try another one over on this direction. Like it probably doesn't even matter that I'm moving around so much. I don't know why I do that when I fish. <laughs> I feel like we're um, fishing the place dry if I just stay in the same location. Well, no luck yet, but I hate to leave this place, like knowing that it's so rainy and everything, because then we might just completely miss out on the eels altogether. Um, How much room do we have left in our pockets though? Oh my goodness, look at all these fish. I mean, we are definitely going to be able to sell off a lot of these. Maybe we could even give one to Willie if he would appreciate that. Um, Typically, he's not too impressed with all of the fish that we give him though, so I'm not sure. Now, Sebastian has probably gone down here by now, so let's go ahead and like set up camp in this area. This is like the only place that we haven't tried fishing yet. So maybe, maybe this is where we're supposed to go. We'll see if um, we can catch an eel down here at the very least. And um, we'll try a couple of times. Let's see, is this one going to be the same sort of fish? It really seems like it. I mean, this place is just full of those anchovies today. Anchovies, yep, that's another anchovy. Another one of them, the herrings and everything. We've gotten um, a couple of sardines too. So I don't know, the eel just do not want to come out and play today. It's already 8.30 too. Like time has completely just zipped right past poor little Jess. Oh my goodness. And this fish almost did too. This is a good sign though. This is definitely a different type of fish because we haven't had one zip up like that before. There's our eel, finally. Oh my gosh, that took absolutely forever. But now we can go straight up to the Junimos. We can hightail it straight up to the community center and um, donate these two last fish. And that should actually be it for um, the fish that we need to catch in the spring season. And then it's just a matter of waiting until it's time for us to catch some uh, summertime fish. I think there was one that we needed that we um, had to wait until the fall time to get. So we will have to keep that in mind too. It is still a little ways out before we're going to be able to complete all of the bundles basically. But we knew that already, especially um, in the pantry, I believe, because we have to wait for um, our fall time crops and whatnot, all of those gold star crops. So it will still be a little bit longer, but we are well on our way to actually finishing all of these rooms. Now let's pop these in here before it gets too late. Um, let's see, of course we have the river fish, right? That's where the um, catfish would be. And that's actually the very last one that we need too. So we're going to get a little reward from this as well. Perfect. Let's see what this is going to be. Let's go ahead and open this. Some bait. Okay. <laughs> well, that was a little bit um, lackluster, I suppose, but at least it's something. And then um, it's not the ocean fish. It would be the night fish, maybe? Okay, there we go. So we're just missing the walleye now, but I believe that was the fish that we actually had to wait until um, the fall time to catch. But once we're done with all of these bundles, it looks like the glittering boulder will be removed. And I believe that's that thing that um, is blocking a portion of the water right by the mines, right? I think so. Like if we went up this way, then we could probably see it. And in fact, I should probably light up the way because it is very, very dark. We could go around this way, loop around and see if there's anything um, to forage as well. We might as well because we are always on the hunt for leaks for George, especially now. Oh my goodness, there's one. Especially now that um, Evelyn is asking us for these leaks to um, actually give to her husband. Apparently he likes it with, what was it, eggs in the morning? Quite interesting. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is the uh, glittering boulder that we want to remove once we finish all of those bundles for the Junimos. So it will be interesting to see what um, that actually reveals once it's removed. I wonder if it's going to open up a new area or maybe give us access to different types of fish or something. I mean, it seems like typically when we do these big uh, bundles, when we complete the entire rooms, it gives us um, a new area to explore. So we'll have to see how that works. We'll have to see if that's the case. And I mean, pretty soon, pretty soon we'll be there. Um, but we'll go ahead and throw all of these fish into the bin to sell off because we have so many now. And I should probably take a very quick sneaky little peek in here too. Nope, still 
no fruit in our fruit bat cave. Like they have been very, very quiet all spring long. I'm a little bit worried about them, but we do have some cheese at least. We have some cheese and we should also have our very first um, little blue jazz honey, I guess it would be called. Let's make a spot for it in here so we can see. Um, yeah, some blue jazz honey. So that should be um, a little bit better quality than the uh, tulip honey, or at the very least it should um, sell for more than the tulip honey did. So there we go, we can plop that in there to sell off. We can sell off our shads and our sardines and our herrings, all of these different types of fish that we don't actually need. Um, we might as well sell the green algae too and the seaweed, but we're keeping the leeks. We are definitely keeping the leeks. I don't want to accidentally get rid of those of all things. George would be so upset with us if we did. But now tomorrow is Pam's birthday, so we really need to figure out what we're going to give her too. Um, the last time we talked to her, she was a little bit um, cold toward us, it seems. So I hope that she's not uh, feeling upset with us right now. We haven't really talked to her in a while, so that might be the case. Um, I know that she really likes it when we give her flowers though. We have actually done that before. She seems to enjoy those flowers that we grow ourselves. So maybe a blue jazz would be just fine. Or one of these tulips too. We have like a pinkish one and a purplish one. So both of those would um, probably be pretty good choices. Um, otherwise, I'm not 100% sure. I mean, I know that she likes um, the pale ales that we had to get her in the previous year and whatnot, but we don't have any left over. Um, we might be able to make her something special from these kegs someday though. That might be something that we'll have to keep in mind, but right now it is getting very, very late. Now, hopefully it's going to be um, nice and sunny tomorrow. We'll go ahead and check the weather report. Let's see, it's going to rain all day tomorrow. Oh my goodness. Okay, I wish I checked that earlier because then I wouldn't have had to worry about all of those eels. But I guess that means that Pam is probably going to be inside on her birthday, so that is good to know. Um, we have a Queen of Sauce rerun too, so we might as well go ahead and check this out just in case it's something new glazed yams. It's yam season and what better way to enjoy these delightful tubers than by slathering them in sweet sticky glaze. You'll need a nice ripe yam and a whole bunch of sugar. Now here's how you do it. You already know how to cook glazed yams. Okay, okay, we already knew that recipe. That's perfectly fine though. I think um, we're getting to know quite a few of these recipes. It's just a matter of um, gathering up all of the different ingredients that we need to actually make them. And in fact, we might want to stock our fridge with um, some more eggs and some more milk and whatnot. And of course that cheese. I think from here on out, I'm going to to um, start stockpiling the cheese a little bit more because you guys know my plan of uh, giving Shane as many of those pepper poppers as possible to cheer him up. Fresh pepper poppers that we make ourselves at our own stove and everything. I'm sure he will be very, very happy to have that. But for now, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys.